Memphis first down. First and ten Memphis at the 46 yard line of war. Jeremy Scruggs is the ball carrier and the tackle again by number 52, Tyrus. One yard gain. Second down nine for Memphis. Riley is the ball carrier and the tackle by Golston. Back ball in the end zone. 
Brown will be brought out to the 20 yard line. First down, Louisville. Wise, I think he's got the talent to play. He just hadn't been able to get that too deep. The goalie cards on first and ten. I formation backfield. Cherasica is the tailback behind Green. And the first play will be a pass, and it is caught on a diving grab up at the 29-yard line by Robert Bates. A nine-yard gain for the Cardinals on the first play. And there you go, fans. It was a first down pass from U of L. Well, and that's I think what they're going to have to do in this ball game to have a chance to win. They pleasured Hogan's a middle linebacker with 102 tackles. Jesse Allen and Marcus Gary, the other two linebackers, Marvin Thomas and Santa Banez are the defensive ends, and I'll get the rest later. Second and nine. The fumble as Redmond takes the snap, bumps into his fullback, and fell back on the football at the 23-yard line. Now, Redmond came out of there, and, I, you know, sometimes you wonder who's out of position that the quarterback wanted and at least prevented the turnover. Tim Hart and Tony Williams are the defensive tackles for Memphis. Keith Spahn and Jeremy Stewart, the safeties. Mike McKenzie and Kevin Cobb are the cornerbacks. Louisville wanted to stay at a third and long. They had second and one, but now third and six. And Redmond will back up to throw. Pretty good protection at the 15. Fires upfield. It is complete at the 35-yard line to Darshay Perry, and he rolls it out to the 40-yard line for a first down. The freshman Darshay Perry with the reception for the Cardinals. Well, that play started with excellent pass protection. Chris Redman had plenty of time. He also had a good lane to throw back for Memphis and made a great catch for the first down. I called him a freshman. He's actually a sophomore uh, like Otis Floyd, a guy playing in his first year after having set up last year. Here's a pitch to the tailback, Cherasica, running to the right at the 40, around at the 45, bowls over a man and runs out of bounds at the 48-yard line. And listen to that crowd as they love the hit dished out by the running back. But he hit him right in the thighs, took him down to the ground, and that's what made that play get around the corner. Cherasica's averaging almost three and a half yards a carry, has run for 149 yards and a touchdown, plus seven more yards on that play. Second down and three. Bates in motion from right to left. Redmond has the snap, hands to Cherasica. Slips off right tackle, bounces outside to the 50. Twisted out of bounds by the face mask in Memphis territory at the 47-yard line, and it's going to be a penalty. Mike McKenzie grabbed a hold of the face mask at Tendai Cherasica, and that should be the personal foul. That ought to give... And on this first possession, Louisville has used a good balance of the pass and the run to move the ball. They only gave him the five-yard penalty. That looked like a personal foul to me. Moved him to the 42 of Memphis, where Louisville has first and 10 with no score. We're in the first quarter. Redmond out of an eye formation behind him. Short drop. Throws one out wide. Caught by Bates. Wrapped up. Can't quite get away. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. About a five-yard gain to uh, Robert Bates on the pass from Chris Redmond. Redmond, Stewart. The strong safety, but that's a very dangerous pass. you got to have a lot of arm strength to execute that. And if the defensive back gets a little better break, that's a touchdown for the other team. It was a long diagonal pass across the field and gave him time to almost get there. Redmond turns, play fake to Cherasica, throws over the middle, caught by the tight end, Crowley, nailed at the 20-yard line. The tackle was put on him by the strong safety, Jeremy Stewart. But Gary Crowley with a 17-yard gain on his fifth catch this season. The junior from Cincinnati is playing the tight end. Come back to the huddle at the 20 five-yard line and slap each other on the helmet. They were excited. Chris Redman is hot. The line's blocking well. The backs are running well. And the offense is clicking. First and 10 at the 20. No score. Redman again on a short drop. Throws out wide. Caught by Montano. He's hit short of the 10-yard line. Still fighting for more. They finally pile on him at the 11-yard uh, line. It'll be a nine-yard gain to Miguel Montano. That's the 37th catch for the junior out of St. X. Tops in Conference USA. Miguel Montano looked like he weighed about 250 after he made that catch. That kept was only three catches away from tying Anthony Cummings as the number four receiver at Louisville. Cards have a second and one at the 11. No score. We're in the first quarter. I formation. Redmond play fake to the tailback. Rolls to the left. Throws. It's caught at the five-yard line. Fumble by Green, but he fell back on the football at the seven. McKenzie got his hand in there behind Green and break the football away and that was just an outstanding defense. Louisville has fumbled the ball away 14 times this year, and they've dropped the ball a lot more than that twice today, but fortunately they've gotten it back both times. First and goal, Louisville, just inside the seven-yard line. Redmond sends Bates in motion to the right toward the wide side. Redmond's hands off to Cherasica. Runs to the five. He's hit from behind and knocks him ahead to about the four-yard line. Another good block by Ivan Green up on Wilkins, the linebacker. Green is uh, 210 uh, really who was involved the, the players had pretty much been separated and the flag was very late Louisville for math here and Victor's punted 
but an errant punt actually hit a Louisville player. Memphis recovered and got another series, but Louisville stopped him again. Last year, Memphis had the ball three times inside the five-yard line against Louisville and didn't score. So don't assume that just because Louisville's on the four-yard line that this is automatic. It's first and goal, though, and the offense has looked as good in this drive as they've looked in a long time, Paul. Louisville has Payne at the quarterback in that T formation. Payne rolls to the right at the five, cuts inside, and is decked at the two-yard line. They bring in Jason Payne in this short yardage situation sometimes. They have a uh, full backfield and a T, almost a wishbone looking to the chin, too. He just kept it, and it was a keeper all the way. Faked to Ivan Green, rolled around to the right side. This time it's the give to Cherasica. He runs through the middle and runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tendai Cherasica. Made a nice little curving move toward the outside, circled it back to the middle and got it in. Good, good, just good hard running, good blocking up front and a very well executed Cardinal fan, a Cardinal player and a Cardinal coach. You kind of breathe a sigh of relief right now that you've got a touchdown, something that has been uh, hard to come by lately. David Akers in for the extra point, trotting out of 15. Payne is the holder, snap is there, the kick is good. Louisville leads 7-0 over Memphis. 6-14 left in the first quarter. We'll be back on the U of L Football Network. Lure has his factory authorized clearance sale with more top sellers than anyone. In fact, five out of the top ten. Your Metro Louisville Ford dealer offers you an opportunity to buy or lease America's best-selling cars and trucks at low clearance prices. Hits offensively for the Cardinals and you know defensively they're going to have the ability to keep Memphis to a low score, but uh, they're going to have to score some points and I think Coach Cooper, if he can get a drive like that every quarter, Paul, he'll be very pleased with his offense. Damian Dodson deep to return David Akers' kickoff after the Louisville score. 6-14 left in the first quarter. Here comes Akers, and this one doesn't carry quite as deep. Dodson will field it at the 1. Dodson on the right side up to the 10, straight ahead to the 15. Hit and dunk at the 18-yard line. Reggie White just piled. First and 10 Memphis from their own 18-yard line. Tigers just now getting their last player into the huddle. They bring the plays in from the wide receivers. They send two receivers to the left side. That is the wide side. One to the right, I formation backfield. Padre Anderson, the quarterback, shifts his fullback over, now backs up the throw. Bryce Lockett on a blitz, doesn't get him. He completes it out to the 20-yard line, Scruggs to the 25, and pushed out of bounds up at the 28-yard line. There was a it was a gain of 10 to the 28-yard line, first and 10 Tigers. They have Brian McDonald now in at a wide receiver. He's a walk-on from St. X High School here in Louisville. Anderson, the quarterback, Hands off to his tailback. He weaves through the middle, runs it out to the 30, out to the 31-yard line. Tail Playing the run heavily and supporting the run with their cornerbacks. They're really getting up there, uh, counting on their cornerbacks to help cut the run off on the outside. Second down and seven for Memphis. Louisville leading 7-0. Here is Anderson rolling left at the 30. He's hit by Clark. Knocked ahead to the 34-yard line where Rice Lockett falls on top of him. That was for loss, two interceptions. One of the top tacklers on the football team. I think when you think about the fact that Tyrus McLeod's graduating, you have to feel good about the fact that Terry Rice Lockett will be back next year. Third down and four for Memphis. One running back. Anderson on a drop, lets the screen go. Riley has it at the 30, running toward the sideline to the 35. Cut down, but he just dives across the first down marker out at the 39-yard line. Had his feet cut out from under him, but dove it ahead and picked up the extra yard to get the first down. Six foot two, 200 pounds. Riley Engel, a back that big, still going to have a shot at getting the first down. First and 10 Memphis from their own 40, trailing 7 to nothing in the first quarter. High backfield behind Anderson. Hands to the fullback Scruggs. It's plugged up, bounces it to the outside. He can't quite get to the 40-yard line. Mike Gantos plugged the hole up again. Josh Mill push that stopped Scruggs' momentum that kept him from gaining any yardage. Second down and 10 for the Tigers. Less than four minutes remaining in the first quarter. Two receivers to the right side, the wide side for the Tigers. Anderson rolls to the right. He's along the 30-yard line being chased. Now lets the pass go up the sidelines. Caught by the tight end in Louisville territory. 
Gary Cobb made the catch. It's, uh, not quite into Louisville territory. He's going to be a little short of the 50-yard line. Ty, uh, Terry Rice Lockett put a shot throwing shoulder early in the year, and they can actually see the, the, the socket of his, uh, his joint there. It was all popped out and... Kind of makes me sick just to think <laughs> yeah. about it. I was going to see how much further you were going <laughs> to describe it. You got about far enough for me. Third down and three from the 47. Anderson with one running back. That's Riley. Takes the handoff in the backfield and is twisted down. Fumble. Louisville piling on the football. The cards motioning that they have it. No official sign yet, but the cards are celebrating. They give it back to Memphis at the 45-yard line. Kendrick Golston came in first, angled off to that defensive end position, either Rico Clark or Miguel Montano. He's punting against a pretty stiff wind. And it's a fake. It goes to the short man. And he's running to the 50. Breaks outside. Down the sideline to the 40. He's to the 30 and finally tackled after Memphis scores on the fake punt. It was Jesse Allen, who's normally a linebacker, is in that short position. The snap went to him, and he ran it for big yardage for the first down for the Tigers. Not a surprise at all. Rip Shearer, the coach of Memphis, has pulled several. They executed it very well. That was a 25-yard gain. That's the seventh play of that type. They run onside kicks, fake punts, fake field goals, and that's the seventh time they've attempted one this year, and they've been successful now on four of them, so better than half the time, and the Tigers have a first down at the 28-yard line of Louisville. And now the officials step in, and they're going to delay the snap of the ball. Louisville leading 7 to nothing with two and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Looks like there might be a 25-second clock problem. I don't see close in order to get a field goal. Well, it's first and 10 for the Tigers at a 28. Now we're finally ready to play two receivers to the wide side of the field to left. Anderson with one running back. It's Riley. Anderson drops back, throws the middle screen, and it's intercepted right to Matt Conway. He's running the other way. There is a penalty flag. He's at the 30 and being chased. They're going to catch up to him. He's down at the 21-yard line. Matt Conway with his first career interception. There is a penalty flag at the 45-yard line of Louisville. I think it's going to be roughing the quarterback on Leland Taylor, and I'm not sure as if you know his momentum was not carrying him into the quarterback. He was actually stopping and pushed and extended his arms and almost looked like he just shoved the quarterback to the ground. And uh, You know, a replay, I think it was a good call by the official, and unfortunately, Louisville nullifies a big defensive play. So now they're down at the 15-yard line. We're going to uh, check with Greg Brown here in just a minute when we get a chance, and the officials come in and wave their arms to hold things up again, and the cards are going to call a timeout. So we'll take a break. But Memphis, given new life on a penalty, has first and 10 to the 15-yard line. High formation backfield. Here is Anderson handing to the fullback Scruggs, and he is matched right at the 15 for no gain. McLeod, Rice, Lockett, Taylor, they're all in there. Greg Brom, Coach Ron Cooper called that timeout, apparently not to talk to his team, but to talk to the officials. What was it about? Yeah, Paul, Coach Cooper called the referee over. He thinks that the penalty occurred after the interception. Therefore, he thinks that Louisville should have the ball. But uh, if I heard you and Doug talking, it looks like it's very close on the TV replay, but it looks like that maybe the hit did occur before the interception. I didn't get a good look at that part of it as to whether the pass was caught before Taylor hit the quarterback, but I don't think that was the case. The penalty nullified a Louisville interception. Second and 10 Memphis at the Louisville 15. Anderson on a deep drop to the 25. Hit by Golson as he lets it go, and it's way overthrown and out of bounds in the end zone as he was throwing for his wide receiver, Jeremy Burns, uh, Duran Burns. Maybe had a valid point. It was hard to tell because the camera, as we saw it on the replay, you know, didn't really show the ball at the same time. Uh, but the question, of course, is uh, whether or not uh, Louisville had possession before or after uh, Leland Taylor hit the quarterback. Third and 11 for Memphis at the 16-yard line. Anderson on a shorter drop, looking to throw. He's hit. He escapes. He's hit again and dropped back at the 21-yard line by Carl Powell. Matt Conway just had a huge surge up the middle, and then Anderson avoided him, but he couldn't avoid Carl Powell, who came. Really so. We're drinking hot chocolate. <laughs> yes, sir, you bet. Memphis is going to try a field goal here. Ted Lane has kicked 10 of 14 this year. Memphis only kicked five field goals all of last year. 
This will be a 38-yard try against the wind. Here it is by Lane. He has the distance, and it is good. Memphis closes it to 7-3 with 47 seconds left in the first quarter. We'll be right back on the UNL Football Network. With homes, careers, and growing families, too, women today have more responsibilities than ever. And State Farm agents are trained to help women keep up with their growing life insurance needs. Your state's held them to a 38-yard field goal. Louisville leads 7-3. Less than a minute remaining in the first quarter. Ball blew off the tee again. It happens again. They'll have to send out a holder. Louisville had the same deal. And Louisville actually had their uh, team in also defending uh, a possible fake punt too, Paul. Or, Rico Clark. Me, onside kick. Rico Clark is in to return this kick. Tendai Cherasica has been doing that, but with Cherasica getting the call at the tailback today, I guess that's why Clark is back there. Here comes the kick. And this is a low-line drive that is going to be hit and picked up by Ivan Green. And he runs to the right along the 20-yard line. He can't fight off a man and is pushed out of bounds up at the 24-yard line. Ivan Green fielded the short kickoff and uh, ran a long way toward the sideline but didn't get a lot of plus yardage. The cards will begin at their own 24. Looks like those guys are holding together pretty well so far. Only the second possession for Louisville. It's late in the first quarter. Redmond from an eye formation. Fakes to the tailback, Cherasica. Looking downfield, throwing, and it is too deep, just out of the reach of Robert Bates up near midfield on the far sideline. Well, if that one goes in the hands of and Montana was pulling him to the middle of the field. If Redmond hits that one on target, I think Louisville had another six points. First incompletion today for Chris Redmond in seven tries. Second down and ten. 7-3 Louisville, half minute left in the first quarter. Green and Cherasica in an eye backfield. Two receivers to the left side. Redman hands to Cherasica, and he's knocked down right after taking the handoff, and it actually stopped for about a one-yard loss. Looked like he may have tripped over Matt Johnson's foot back there. Johnson actually uh, kind of pushed back. Cherasica just stumbled over his foot, fell down. And Louisville now has a third down situation, a third and 11 for the Cardinals. Split backfield this time behind Redman. Two receivers to the wide side, the left. Redmond fades back to the 15, lets it go. It's incomplete, wide of Miguel Montano, up at the 35-yard line. So that offensive series goes nowhere for the Cardinals, and they'll be in the punt as the first. A little more reminiscent of the, the trials and tribulations they had last week on this uh, previous drive, and now they're lining up to punt. Gorsuch, the leading punter in Conference USA. He will go against the wind here, and he hits a bad one off the side of his foot and short. Boy, where are they going to mark this? It won't even get out to the 40-yard line. Let's see exactly where they're going to step it. Back to the 35. Yep, 35. Hit a bad punt there and put his uh, defense with their back uh, right up in the crunch zone. Memphis takes over first and 10 on Louisville's 35-yard line. Cadre Anderson fakes to his tailback. On a deep drop, he's going to throw over the middle. It is incomplete at the 22-yard line as he threw for Damian Dotson. He, I think, Paul is as good as any cover guy they've ever had here at the University of Louisville, and that includes a lot of great players such as Ray Buchanan, uh, who made the Pro Bowl a couple years ago for the Indianapolis Colts. Second and 10 Memphis, wide side of the field is to the right. Dotson is out there. It's to the tailback, and Woods is hit and dropped for no gain. At the 35-yard line, Carl Powell again blasts through to stop him for no gain. Powell, 63 tackles, is second on the team, Doug. That's uh, done so many great things when you look at how he plays. He's not just a guy that makes tackles outside, but he makes them out there uh, by the sidelines. He makes them in the middle, and uh, a lot of pressure on the quarterback as well. Third and 10, Anderson being chased out of the pocket, now running at the 40, the 35. He's hit at the 30 and falls inside the 30 to about the 28-yard line, so a good scramble. He will be short of the first down, however, and with the wind behind him, Memphis is in field goal range. Rondell Malm with him in the open field. He broke down and made a great open field tackle, and Kendrick Golston showing how he hustles was also out there to help on the play. Ted Lane had a 35-yard field goal earlier. This will be a 45-yard attempt, which would equal his longest. It is on the way. It might just barely be long enough, but he missed it. He pulled it off to the left. So after a blast week. Now we're ready to go, and Redmond sends Bates in motion toward the near side, the left. Redmond takes it, pitches to Cherasica, sweeping left to the 25, to the 30, cuts up field to the 35, and fights for more out to the 38-yard line. Penalty flag. Yeah, the flag came 
relatively early, and then it looked like it was thrown again. It's holding against the Cardinals. Ten-yard penalty is going to pull back that run by Cherasica, though, and it's going to be first down and 15 for Louisville from their own 24-yard line. Montana wide right. Bates split to the left side. Pitch to the other side this time. Cherasica being chased along the 20. Gets by the first tackle. He runs to the 24 and continues to dig ahead and does fight his way to the 25-yard line for about a two-yard gain. Ran underneath the tackle of... The linebacker that was out there looked like he was going to get his arm. He could turn out what should have been a loss into a short game. The defensive players will tell you that Cherasica is hard to see behind uh, all the taller offensive linemen. It will be second down and 13 for Louisville after the two-yard game. High formation. Redmond. Short drop, quick throw, out wide, caught by Montana with the 35. He almost escapes at the 40-yard line, but is swung down at the last minute after he picked up the first down by Keith Spann. He almost shook free from him, and if he had, he might have gone all the way. Mike McKenzie was there initially to make the tackle. McKenzie making his third start for Memphis has made some big plays. He's picking up the first down. That was uh, a good, quick, three-step drop pass out there to Montano. He secured it and kept the drive alive. 17-yard gain. First and 10 Louisville from their own 43. Perry in motion to the left side. And it's a handoff to Cherasica right up the middle across the 45 to the 50. Runs to the 40. Pulled down at the 35-yard line in Memphis territory. Tendai Cherasica reels off a big one. Just looked like Moses parting the Red Sea there. Just a huge hole on the left side at the 15 yard line yeah i i thought he was down when the ball again anthony bird pulled up in there and got a good block on the linebacker hogan's to spring him here is the handoff again to cherasica shakes a tackle runs up at the 15 that's rico williams he's inside the 10 keeps going to the five and got it to about the three yard line first carry this williams 5-7 192 similar to cherasica full house backfield pain hands off to cherasica and he is nailed this time for no gain back at the four-yard line. So Louisville has come in again on this short yardage situation with Jason Payne and three men in the backfield. From a three-back backfield like that, much like the wishbone, but there was just not good blocking that time up front. Payne will take it. He will hand off. No, he'll play fake. Roll to the left. Toss to the end zone. It is intercepted. Memphis Keith Spann picked off the pass. Trying to get Gary Crow in the end zone, and that was a terrible throw. I mean, he threw that right in between three Memphis players. Memphis will bring it out to the 20. Cardinals still lead 7-3. to three. Good drive by Louisville. They did everything well, except uh, they did fumble. The offense is clicking under Chris Redmond, so I don't know if it's the wise way to go here or not. Well, Louisville began with an 80-yard drive for a touchdown. That drive began at their own 29. They blew down the field, but then they didn't get the points after they turned it over on the interception. 10-17 left to play here in the first half. Louisville leads 7-3. That drive started after Memphis attempted their second field goal of the game, and ball was wide to the left. The Cardinals have really looked pretty good in the ball game, offensively and defensively, uh, but uh, you got to capitalize on that when you have that kind of field position. Well, and we've talked so much about turnovers. That's only the first one today by Louisville, but they have fumbled the ball today three times. Fortunately, they have recovered all three of those. All right. Well, and in most instances, you won't. That's the thing. I mean. If you, if you lay it on the ground three times, you can usually expect the other team to come up with at least one of them, maybe two. So Memphis trailing 7-3. to three. Five minutes into the second quarter, has it at their own 20-yard line. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Kadari Anderson, the quarterback, will turn. Hand to Woods in the backfield, and he's wrapped up and thrown down by Leland Taylor for about a five-yard loss. Got him back at the 15. You know, I'm not saying I could block Leland Taylor, but... Uh, I guarantee you that whoever you're assigned to block, you better not get knocked in the backfield like that. They mark it at the 16 for a four-yard loss, second and 14. Anderson rolls to the right, being chased at the 10, gets away up to the 15, and that is all. That was Derek Kennedy who was chasing him deep in the backfield. He got away from him. But on the line of scrimmage to make the tackle. About the only yardage Memphis has gained today is when Louisville fumbled the punt 